the state police were executing their search warrant to search Dulos's property on Jefferson Crossing. They found a letter left by him written before he took his own life, and tonight we're getting a firsthand look at his last words in that letter. Portions of the letter reading, quote, if you're reading this, I am no more. The letter says, quote, I refuse to spend even an hour more in jail for something I had nothing to do with. If it takes my head to end this, so be it. Dulos writing that Michelle Traconis and Kent Mawinney had, quote, nothing to do with Jennifer's disappearance. Dulos saying, please let my children know that I love them. I would do anything to be with them, but unfortunately, we all have our limits. The state will not rest until I rot in jail. My attorney can explain what happened with the bags on Albany Avenue. Everything else in the story is fabricated by law enforcement. He ends the letter by apologizing to the woman from North Carolina who paid his most recent bond, Anna Curry, whom he listed as his best friend on paperwork, saying to her in that letter, quote, I'm sorry for letting you down and for not continuing the fight. The letter simply signed, FOTUS. According to attorney Norm Pattis, he hopes to continue the criminal case against Dulos, even though his client is no longer alive. So as the story unfolds, we'll keep you updated. I'm Ben Goldman, Fox 61 News.